Hey, this is a short video where I'm going to show you the Amazon product boxes. They're plugins that Matt recommended in the product roundup. If you wanted a more professional looking product box, there's two of them, AAWP and AFFIA. I wanted to show you what both of them look like so you can make your own comparison. Me personally, I like the AAWP because I like the short codes and the flexibility of it. It has a little bit bigger product box, but each of them have their own benefits. It is a WordPress short code. So if you're pressing from Zimrider straight into WordPress, it works. If you're saving your file in Zimrider and you're going to import it into AI Masher to use the Enhanced Publisher, it works there as well. Now, before I set it up, let me go in and show you what the page actually looks like. This is High Tech Reviews. This is a brand new domain that I just bought, and I am putting product reviews in there. Great domain. It's hightechreviews.net. And as you can see, it's a Zox News theme. It looks really nice. And these are some of the product reviews that were made in Zimrider. And I'm going to show you one of the plugins to start with. This is the four best IoT devices. Now, I'm not confident on the <laughs> selections it made, but it was first try to do it, so it, it looks pretty decent. Okay, so inside of the blog post, four best IoT devices, I've set up some widgets, and I want to show you what the products look like. So this is all from Zimrider. This is a plug-in table of contents. And this is a voiceover that we enhanced with AI Masher. This is a product box, okay? And we're going to talk a little bit about product boxes. This is the one from AFFAI. Also the widgets over here. This widget right here, the one with the blue buttons, is a product widget in AFFI that you can use. This is the keyword I use, smart home uh, devices. I wanted four of them. And these are direct links, and they have my tracking code on them, okay? Now, as I go down, this is the other plugin. So you can kind of see this is new smart home devices, and this is a, news, a new product listing. So it's a little bit different look, and this is the product listing here, bestseller list. This is the AAW plugin. So I'll go over the widgets shortly, but let's take a look at the product box. This is the product box for the AFF. So just keep this in mind. It's title, image, Amazon price, and a, and a view box. And the view takes you straight over to your product. And here's a data card. Here's an internet of things and another data card. Okay. I didn't do anything except run the product review roundup. I didn't look at the individual links like Matt suggested. I just want to see how fast I could get it done. I wanted to show what else you could do with the plugin. This is a side-by-side -side panel comparison. This is from the AAWP plugin. You'll notice they use the normal buy buttons. And this one down here at the bottom is from AFFI. This is a carousel. And I used Smart Home Premium Entertainment System. Now, the thing I do like about this carousel is it gave me a minimum price. Instead of doing the $19 products or the cheap products, I did $100 plus. And you can see this is a nice little carousel to, to add in here. Okay. Again, we're comparing two different plugins. And now I want to show you what the other product box looks like that I use, the AAWP product box. So I'm just going to pull in this one. Okay. And as you scroll down, this is what the AAWP plugin product box looks like. So you can see it's a very full box of images, a good size. You got your full title, which is clickable, and it goes to your actual data tracking link and the feature box, and then you have a buy on Amazon. So that looks, to me, it looks more professional. There you go. Here's, some, here's another one. So you can make the decision 
which one you like better. Me personally, I, I like these better because they're bigger boxes. They have more content that is straight from Amazon. But your choice in the boxes, that's the AAWP. And then the other one uh, we, we saw earlier was the, was the AFFI, which was this one. So you can compare easily. This is a very limited box. It does have a shadow box when you hover over it. Um, it's up to you which one you use, decide, and put your short code in, and then it's really easy to go. Okay, now let's look at the widgets. Widgets are real easy to set up in here, and I'll just go into my widgets over here, and I'll show you how they're set up. You basically select it, and it comes over here, and then you can just drag it around. Like the one here is best smart, smart home devices, keyword, search by smart home devices. I put it in a grid and did four. The new release, these are even easier. It's an actual widget called new releases. I said smart home devices. I gave it three. A little bit more flexibility with the AAWP. Here's the bestseller list. Again, this is just a widget. Give me six of them. And these were the standard styles that came up. So I haven't done anything at all customizing the widgets. The only thing I did on AFFI is I matched the color to my color scheme on Zox. That's how easy it is to put the widgets in there. These are the short codes. And you'll need to be very exact on this. You do want to put quotes and you want to do exactly like this right here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Same with this. So if you're using the AAWP plugin, this is your short code. If you're using AFFI, this is your short code. Okay. Now, where do they go inside of ZimWriter? Let's go back over here and I'll bring up ZimWriter. You can go into the AI Vault. You'll click there and you'll go into the product roundup, which I've already got that widget opened. You're going to come over here and you're going to put in your Amazon override. So you just simply type it in right there and check that box. That's all you have to do. And it does everything else for you. This is where you add your short code and then you'll fill this in however you want to set it up. I'll show you real quickly how I set mine up. I did random, randomized product order, voice in the article, voice in the actual roundup. I did professional. I skipped all that. Subheading, my stable diffusion, I did the photographic. In there, I did photographic. And here, I did short answers. And then I started my roundup. Now, the way that you do this is you put in your keywords. So, smart home. Now, I don't have any links. So, the first time I click on it, it's going to go out and get links. It will tell you it's found some links. And there's all the Amazon links. Now, ideally, you will want to go in and review each of these. Matt even says it in his video. And you can look at this smart plug. Smart plugs out extender with nightlight. You may not even have to go into the links to know there's a few of these that you may not want in there. Okay. Smart home devices. This is ready to go. All I have to do is click this button one more time. However, I come over here and I'm going to use a custom prompt. So I'm showing you everything that I'm doing. I'm going to turn on code. This is my AAWP short code. Save settings. That's on. Come over here. I'm going to use a, a prompt and I'm going to use this set temperature zero. I'm going to use a rewrite on everything. I'll leave the link down below that has all my custom prompts in there. This just turns down the variation of OpenAI. So GPT-4, I'm ready to go. And you can see that. And then I'll hit start roundup. Now, when I do this, it's going to randomly build from 3 to 15. It's only going to build one page because I only give it one page, smart home devices. So I'll go ahead and start that. I confirm. OK. And it's processing. So that's all there is. Let me give you the links 
here on the screen and with right links in there. I'll see you on another video and thanks for watching.